channel, new channel intro. So exciting. It's Friday. I'm feeling good. Welcome to Competition. When designing and refining the gear that we use for eSport, we take any opportunity to dial in the gear to gain an advantage. This is no different for a real driver, it's no different from any other person anywhere who needs a competitive edge. One slip, one missed input, one millisecond of distraction is all it takes to lose a spot, to fail to qualify, or crash out completely. So today, we're going to address how pedals are different and how they can be modified or completely dialed in. First, I'd like to discuss the type based on what you're trying to achieve. Most members of Virtual race in many type of automotive racing. Some actually use Sim to keep their skills up for actual racing in the downtime. But that topic I'm going to park for another video. So when choosing my pedals, I have to consider to include the clutch because I want to race in other cars with gated shifters. That's World Cup Rally, Autocross, all vintage road sim including LM, Prototype and Formula. Old Formula. Monster Tech MTS Simbase is brand new, it's just released and it offers a quick change pedal system that I'm going to be reviewing. This will let anyone switch between flight and driving quickly or for someone who may have two sets of pedals for driving, I guess. To me, for me to need that, I would need to be very serious about my F1 driving, but who knows, perhaps this new channel will really take off. Trevor, who races under the name Virtual, is mainly only interested in Formula 1, so he would likely make more use of that quick change than me. More specifically, Formula 1 is his primary focus and therefore he's opted out. He simply doesn't have a clutch. He's decided that if he wants to do something like that in the future, he just won't have access to a simulated clutch. He spends the majority of his time in cars that don't have one, so he's chosen to build without it. Fanatec has been the standard that's used by our team, but Trevor has been testing the Huskeveld set. Sorry, I really, I probably broke that. Anyways, I had a chance to look at it. That looks fantastic. So when he opted for that upgraded, he opted to not even buy the clutch. And it's infinitely adjustable. So I do want to review them in the future, but again, I'm going to park that for a bit. One great thing about our Fanatec gear is that I can see that they took care and concern for the modularity and the ease of replacement. Building something the first time that can be taken apart quickly means you can change or replace parts and also bring things to the next level. Deleting the clutch from three pedals down to two is very easy. The lower side has a brain box with a quick disconnect plug, and if an item is missing when the boot procedure is initiated, it simply removes it from the software until it's restored. So that's easy. The pedals are built along a set of bars that are capped with aluminum supports and are held in place with tapered Allen cap bolts. By taking the measurements of the entire clutch assembly, and I mean down to the half millimeter with a digital caliper, we can 3D print a proper spacer to help. To remove the clutch, for example, all you'd need to do is make up for the missing part on the bar. You can measure this with accuracy and then print a set of replacements or build one exactly to measure. I printed with 100% infill which resulted in a solid piece of plastic. This is more weight, it costs more and it has more print time. But all things considered, the printed part is probably still less than a buck. You can print whatever color you like and you could even replace all of the stock spacers if you really want to personalize. You know, red, blue, whatever color you want. Another thing you can consider when removing these parts is adding more space between the gas and brake, which will reposition the brake slightly further away, giving you a lot more room. All of these modifications are completely reversible as all you would need to do is keep the part safe and reverse the process. This is something that I've already done once so I can assure you, 100% reversible, no issues even after being used without a clutch for 4 months. So, we can adjust the pedal distance and mounting angle with the MonsterTech MTS Simbase. Individual pedals may have their own adjustment either on the mounting plate hardware or some sort of adjustment on the pedal themselves, as we've already seen. All possible options are up to you and your creativity. You can easily find a lot of files on Thingsverse for your 3D printer. I haven't actually planned to start selling parts to be honest, but if you're really hellbent on getting this level of adjustment and you have nowhere else to turn, Please just contact me on Discord, which is linked in the description and it's free to join. I'm going to come up with some way to help wherever I can. And if you made it to the end, I thank you because you're not only getting the most information from this content, but you're also helping us to grow the channel. We are one-fifth away to the required time for YouTube partner status. Please remember to look out for the giveaways and enter on both channels. Please continue to support by spreading the word and watching content. This is super helpful as usual. Let us know about any specialized custom ideas or project that you've done in the past. Rubber side down, shiny side up, and pedal down where it stays. Permanently. <laughs>